Now, Jimmy, some say going into the red line can be a bad thing. Oh, that's as far as cars go. <laughs> this is speakers. Yeah, and we're here with EAW Red Line. This is the RL15, the, uh, the 15 and horn in the range. There's also a 12 and horn and an 18 inch sub, uh, all powered. Yes, and I think, uh, look, straight out of the box, you pretty much nailed the description of this when you said it's satisfying. It's extremely satisfying. Everything about it is the construction is beautiful. The handles are the, in the handles right are place. designed. They're made. They're incorporated into the wooden surface of the cabinet, yep. and they're designed so you can get your hand in there even really with gloves on. Yeah, um, this is all very professional. Uh, it also looks intimidatingly heavy until you actually pick it up. Yeah, it's um, it's it's pretty manageable. Yeah, it's actually. great. It's great. Uh, but yet, you know, has that feeling of solidity, and then you know the sound is all there you know you turn this thing up and it goes it's really fantastic yeah um look we we got to the point of seriously loud when we had the limit lights on i couldn't break it no we had were to instructed go. to try uh, it, yeah so. um look the the processing module on the back it's a self-powered mm. unit of course all the models are there's this and there's of course the sub which we mm. should talk about the sub's really good yeah yeah the sub's a monster again very musical though yeah yeah it doesn't do just one note mm. it does mm. lots of notes um and i think that was really evident when we listened to some tracks we both know very well and and uh, for me, the biggest tell was that strings mm. sounded like, like strings. strings. Yeah. <laughs> my That's favorite not, test track too. not yeah. always easy. Mm. Um, and look, the, the AM modules in these look really simple. Um, now, there's essentially power and audio in and loop outs. There's a volume control and there's a mode button. Uh, what's behind this AMP module is EAW focusing and dyno processing. So two kinds of processing. It's actually DSP. Um, the 12 and horn and the 15 and horn both have main, main and sub or monitor modes. Mm. And those are very subtle changes. Yeah, they are, um, yeah. To, you look up the actual frequency response plots mm. um, to see the difference between those three, and it, mm. it's it's actually a very subtle difference. Mm. Um, the sub has three modes as well, which is you know sub or cardioid front or cardioid mm. back. Yeah. You, you you can set up a cardioid sub array in the space of about a minute. Yeah, and that's which a fantastic is really feature cool. for this kind of product. Yeah, mm. and look for me, I think the biggest thing about this is that straight. Straight away, you put it up, you turn it on, and it's usable. It sounds yep. right. Absolutely. Um, a, a big part of the marketing they've done on this is that you know we've got tunings in, built in that, that that make it sound like you spent hours tuning, and it's right. You mm. know, like mm. it sounds good straight away. So really, once you put this PA up, all you need to do is maybe make a bit of a compensation for the environment mm -hmm. in which you are. Mm. Look, for my money, I think this is brilliant gear. I really yeah. love it. Oh, look, it looks the business, it feels the business, and if this is going to go and do corporate where it's got to handle speeches and then, the, you know, the big party band afterwards. It looks good. Yeah. It sounds good. What more do you want? Yeah, exactly. Thank you so much for watching Gearbox. If you like what you saw, please give us a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos, don't forget to subscribe to our channel by clicking below. We'll see you next time.